Super Turbo Championship Edition. Hey everybody, Paul here with a brand new game. I decided I wanted to do this game uh, instead of doing costume quests since costume quest is kind of a, you know, Halloween game and I don't know, it didn't really go with anything that I would have been able to do now. So, I decided to do another fun game. Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition. So, let's just get started already. Juan! Are you home, Juan? Juan, wake up, Juan! So, we are Juan. Uh, so yeah, this is a fun little 2D platformer. And we'll get to learn more about it in a bit. You're finally awake! Noon is upon us. The sun's at its zenith. No time to sleep day away. The Dia de los Muertos festival is nigh. Take some time to compose yourself. I could use your strong arms at the church once you've brushed your teeth. Okay, so let's head to the church then. So yeah, uh, this is a really fun game. I I have beat it before, not a uh, hundred percent though, but still I beat the whole game. So it's yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna hundred percent it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to. But yeah. So we are Juan, who can punch barrels and coins come out. Ooh, what'd she say? Juan! I have a fiesta soon, and I don't want to be short on tequila. Oh, sorry, Juan. I'd love to invite you, but it's luchadores only. Wow, what a bitch. Oh, I guess we can't go talk to her. Oh, wait, yes, we can. Ha! Hola, Juan. You remember my son, a luchador? He got three bandits trying to steal holy water from Frey. Ay, ay, ay! Cool. Good to know. Don't really care. It's true. I was a real mamacita on the old days. You better believe it. If you say so, miss. Hola, ho hola, Juan. Thanks for coming to help. I'm trying to clear out some space in here. We are expecting people to come from all over for the festival. Even El Presidente's daughter has returned from La Universidad de Santa Luchita. Enough gossip. Could you bust out those empty wine barrels over here in the corner? So we just attack the barrels and bada bing bada boom we're done. What strength. I knew you had it in you. El Presidente's daughter always said she saw your potential as well. Such a nice girl. And I'm so glad that El Ambassador's son is out of the picture. Even El Cabinet Minister's wife. What a scandal. Hablando del Rey de Roma. Look who appears. Hello, Frey. I... Juan! Frey asked me to stop by today. I didn't expect you to be here. Juan, you look so... Remember when we were kids? We used to get into so much trouble together. Wow, that feels like so long ago now. You're really grown up. Anyway, Frey, I found those chairs you were asking about. I'll bring them over later. Juan, could you come by the mansion and help me carry them? i really love to spend some time with you. If you want, maybe we could even go to the festival together. I should go. Hope to see you later, Juan. Bye, Frey! Hey, Juan. Didn't you hear what she said? Now's your chance. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is better than watching my telenovelas. Whoa! 
How many times do I have to tell those kids not to play with fireworks? What was I saying? Yes, El Presidente's daughter. You really should go see her. Okay, let's go see El Presidente's daughter. Jump, jump. Hey Juan, what's up? Some chairs for the festival? Sure, I'll just... Ay Dios mío, El Presidente's mansion is on fire! Do something Juan! Okay, I guess we're gonna have to do something. Running down the corridor, trying to help. What is going on? Oh, so someone is trying to play hero. You're far from the fields, Agave boy. This is no place for you. Juan, run! Now before this ugly skeleton gets to you too. <laughs> what do we have here? I sure wouldn't mind melting those eyes off your skull. Gran Calaca, it would be my pleasure to get rid of this intruder. Leave this one to me, flying face. I could use a bit of action today. Silencio. If you if Wagar Hagwar Javier were here he could be trusted to handle this. Unfortunately he is occupied. I'll get rid of this puny Himador myself. The living world may have chosen to forget me once, but I won't give them a choice this time. I'm Carlos Calaca, ruler of the dead world, and you, you're not even a luchador. Prepare to die. <laughs> What's in here? Bear ones. What about over here? Greetings, one. I am Tostada, guardian of the mask. How interesting that the mask has revealed itself to you. Kalaka has thrown the universe out of order. You must have some role to play. If you put this mask on, Juan, its power will bring you back to the world of the living. Are you ready? Over here! The town is under attack by evil skeletons! They've locked everybody in the church, and I fear they intend to burn it to the ground! Please save us! Before you go, though, a tip. If you ever want to check your current objective, hit said button. Now please, go save the town. I'll keep pretending to be a bell. So, yes, you can have a second player join and be Tostada, but, uh, who knows, I might have someone come in later on, may do a little two-player action, but right now it's just going to be me. So, let's go rescue the villagers at the church. Oh, we got some, uh, evil guys here. So, yes, these are our main enemies that we have to fight, are the skeletons. 
And it's actually pretty fun to fight them. They actually get progressively harder too. Especially since like there's some you can only defeat with certain attacks. It gets pretty hard actually. And honestly, I would not be surprised if I die sometimes, especially in some of these boss battles that uh, I'm gonna have. Because some of these boss battles are really tough. Get help, you fiend! Uh, get back, you fiend! Help! Help! You there, Luchador! Save me from this esqueleto! That's it, Luchador! Left hook, right hook, show it to his boss! Thank you, my son! But we aren't safe yet! They've locked all the townsfolk in the water closet! Help us! We're scared! And that spells gross in here! Ay ay ay! Here they come! So, yes, you can grab. Um, uh, once you weaken them, you can grab them and throw them at each other. Or, you can do that. And you can also dodge, which is actually nice. Dead, yes. And this one's faster and stronger. Okay. There we go. Ah, last we're safe. You saved the day. Now please free the townsfolk from the water closet. And let's save them. Help! Let us out of here! I can't thank you enough for what you've done here, Luchador. Still, I worry for the safety of El Presidente and his family. Look for clues in Santa Lucita. I think some of the evil esqueletos were headed that way. Godspeed, Luchador. The world is in need of your help. And if, as you, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but this, uh, little thing there, that, yeah, you see that? Um, that little loot door in the background is supposed to be Link. This game has like a lot of those little things where they allude to different like games and stuff. Let's talk to this guy. The way you dealt with those skeletons was magnificent. Perhaps you could help me with a small problem of mine. My home has become overrun with chickens. I don't know how, but they escape from their pen. Do whatever it takes to just get them back into their pen. Punch them, throw them, it's okay. My chickens are the toughest around. Cool, so we can punch some chickens. And let's throw them. And let's get them all into there. And we can throw them. Punch and throw. Punch and throw. Punch and throw. Don't, uh, don't watch this, Peta. Because I'm punching and and throwing chickens. Uh, no. Stupid chicken. God. Yay! Now let's see what it'll give us. Gra Gracias. <laughs> I almost forgot his voice. Gracias, señor. Finally, the order is restored to mi casa. Here I noticed that one of the skeletons came through town, dropped this. Hopefully, it's of use to you. And I got a piece of heart. Like, actually, I got a piece of heart. <laughs> Let's just take a look in some of these areas right now. It certainly is quiet in the house these days. I just can't bring myself to get rid of her favorite toy, though. So I keep it in the cellar under the stairs. How did you even get down there? Okay. 
Uh, and it's telling me I need to go up here. Come to the big city, visit Santa Lucita. And this is a little thing where you can buy abilities and costumes, so you can get health chunks, which are the heart pieces, but they only sell like a certain amount within these. And uh, you can buy all these different like moves, costumes, you can get different ones. Some of them are kind of expensive. Like all these, and they give them different bonuses and weaknesses as well. And we can just walk away. And let's head into the forest. Let's see what's in here first. Because I'm probably going to be ending this soon, but uh, I want to show off more of the game first before I finish. Because uh, it's a fun game. And I think this will be a fun little one to uh, let's play while we wait for the big one that comes out, which is going to be soon. Um, I might, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm still thinking about like Bayonetta and stuff. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Jeez. Um, because, I don't know, it's not fun without it having any sound, or well, not having any uh, music. It almost seems a little bland. But I mean, I want your guys' opinion. If you want me to keep doing the series, I will. I'd be happy to. But I don't want to do it when not many people are going to be watching it. Because, like, the last one I just uploaded. Hey, come on. Okay, and I just died. Um, already got our first death now. Probably dodge more, but yeah. So another way you can dodge is just pressing the left back button or LZ button. Really, that still hit me. Okay, let's see if we can get him. But yeah, so I guess really the main game I've been waiting for is the. Uh, what is it? Smash Bros. Because I feel like that one's going to be a lot of fun to do. Such as yourself, but you can't say I didn't warn you. No, 
Ow. And... I think I'm gonna end it here, you guys. And I think this is gonna be a really fun series to do. So, yeah. Hope you guys had a fun time watching. Because I had a fun time playing. See you next time, guys. Bye.